So as a general rig, I well, I, I have a sort of datum to go to, and that involves uh, one of the Fulling Mill Masterclass tapered leaders. I, uh, I prefer the nine foot ones. They do them in 12 foot, but I prefer nine. In fact, I actually crop the bottom two foot off that to essentially make it a seven foot leader. And that acts as my datum. I put uh, a perfection loop in the top end that attaches to the fly line loop to loop. So the perfection loop is basically a knot to form a loop, which we can then, uh, we tie this into monofilament, be it a tapered leader, this case level monofilament of 2x to demonstrate the knot and principally it's a, it's a nicely formed loop that then we use to attach to the loop on the end of our fly line a la loop to loop so all we need to do a good good tip when you tie knots is with monofilament is to actually twist it and you can see instantly it throws a loop and we come behind the initial parent line if you like to throw one loop not in front like this, it comes behind like this. There's our first loop, we throw a second loop. Again, you can see I'm just twisting that with left hand, forefinger and thumb. And in effect, if we separate them, we've got what I call a figure of eight. All we do is then come between the figure of eight and the second loop we formed, we just pull through the first loop like this. You can make the knot smaller, we can just ease up on both loose ends like that and there you've just got this lovely teardrop shape I'll show you that we'll cut the tag end off tighten that up obviously snip away the waist and you've just got that lovely teardrop hence why it's called the perfection loop and then seven foot away that's a long seven foot <laughs> seven foot away we've got another perfection loop okay and that is what we would term a consumable it is actually a fixed section of taper and onto this I actually build my tippet pieces okay uh, that can vary given the wind conditions if it's a breezy day um, you know I hear people say well I can turn 18 foot of leader over into a headwind I can't do that I really can't with tiny flies. So you've got to shorten it down. So in effect, what I might add on to there is two foot of the core polymer, the master class core polymer, which we've got down here. I typically use 4X because I like fishing for big trout and they often hold near structure and you need something, you know, you need something there to really horse them away. So 4X is my kind of go-to. Might be two foot on there, like I say, in breezy conditions, which is, gives me an overall leader of nine foot. Probably extend that a couple of feet in more calmer conditions, so we've got a 12 foot uh, leader. However, when we get into open areas or tricky fish or um, surface currents that can corrupt the the drag of the fly i will extend that to 15 or 16 foot and then what i do on on uh, the seven foot taper i will add two foot of 4x and then two foot or three foot or four foot of the uh, 5x thinner diameter which is approximately 0 0.15 millimeter i do prefer the core polymer simply because for a given diameter, let's say 0 0.15 millimeter, approximately five pound, uh, as opposed to nylon or fluorocarbon, it's a lot more supple. So it tends to conform with surface currents. A general outfit for dry fly fishing in my book would be a 10 foot rod rated for a four weight line. This sort of steers away from many years ago when I was a youngster and that is many years ago. Um, whereby a nine foot five was the sort of staple. Prefer longer rods because they allow us to manipulate line more freely, i.e. mend line, allows us to put curves in for uh, aerial curves for dry fly fishing to address drag and faster currents. The four way, it's a bit of a trade off. We need some delicacy there. You know, you'll all appreciate stepping down from a five weight to a four weight in more um, tricky situations and I say that where we've got edgy fish, pressured water, uh, smooth water, the fly line lands a lot more gently and even again if we step down to a three weight which I will use a 10 foot three weight but as a good all-rounder you can't go wrong with a 10 foot four weight outfit. <laughs>